Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths, I know these narcissists that are involved in your life could have made you out that you were a problem, could have made you out that you were an issue. You know, they could have broke it off of you because of something you've done. You've got to understand all of this is trying to make you miss the mark, right? They 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 deceive you through uh blame shifting. You know, they, they shift the blame onto you or they shift the blame onto someone else. And they and they do this type of thing to make you start to self-sabotage, right? So if a relationship comes to an end. You start feeling guilty. They know you're an empath. You start feeling guilty, thinking of things you've done wrong. You know, you, you really can't take them seriously with the things that they uttered towards you uh, about the, the so-called reasons for things turning out like the way they did, right? You see, even the abuse, they'll blame you for the abuse. You know, oh, they abused you or they done this to you because... You know, they wouldn't call it abuse, but they'll say they done this to you because um you done this and they'll 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 make you feel responsible for for the for the torment that you receive from the narcissist involved in your life, right? Now all of this, right, you need to understand is manipulation. They're not truly, truly like heartfelt. They got disgusting weird hearts, but they still even nonetheless, they don't actually have a real, it's not a true moment that they feel has occurred, right? It's not the truth, right? They're, sh they're blame shifting, okay? And you need to understand that, you know, if you back away and let a narcissist get on with their life, you know, it's the most powerful thing you can possibly do, you know, is to back away from a narcissist let them go, regardless how it ended, you know, just let them go, let them go on their course, because when they reflect on you, or ruminate on you, they will ruminate actually, because narcissists ruminate a lot more than even chosen ones and empaths, and you know how much you can be affected with rumination, um, they are affected with rumination a lot more, <clears throat> and, um, You see, your goodness will haunt the narcissist forever because when they think about you or ruminate about you, they've actually got nothing tangible um, to have a to have a real dislike for you for. They haven't actually got a valid reason to dislike you, to be displeased of you, to they haven't got anything of substance to actually hate you or anything like that they actually haven't got anything you see when you introspect and you start thinking and reflecting on the narcissist you've got a whole host of reasons and a myriad of reasons of why this person is no good they're rotten they're disgusting you've got loads of you know you've got a whole arsenal full of ammunition of why this this narcissist is no good for you right it's totally different on the on the other side of the coin or on the other side of the table with the narcissist reflecting on you they haven't actually got anything of substance that they can be angry about dissatisfied about nothing right you done your best by them you done your best by them and they haven't got anything that they can possibly think of that, you, you know, for them to be annoyed with you or anything, you know, for, for your actions at the time, they haven't actually got anything, you know, they might get annoyed and pissed off that you are not engaging with them or something like that now, but they haven't actually got anything at the time for the duration of the relationship to hold you accountable for, or to, 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 to blame you for. You know, so don't believe this this fantasy that they tried to paint. Please press the, the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It'll take two seconds of your time. 
just like this video showed up for you, help it show up for someone else in the community that it may be a benefit to. Remember, if you want a one-to-one -one session with myself and you want to shed, um, shed some light on your personal situation, you can always reach out and book a one-to-one -one session with me. The link is in the description box below. But look, they haven't got anything of substance, substantial, to to be angered, angered by you of like uh, to be angered with you for, right? You see, you might have backed away, you might be getting on with your life now, you might have pushed them away, you might, you know, that they could be getting irritated about that. But still, throughout the duration of the relationship, you know, all you did was be good to them, all you did is support them, all you did is love them, all you did is be kind to them. Yes, you're not perfect. But you've done your best by them, and they know you tried your best by them. You know, you know you. They know you love them regardless of their faults and their issues, and you was really a solid structure in their life. You know, <clears throat> so you need to understand all this goodness from you will haunt the narcissist. You know, this will really haunt the narcissist going forward with their lives, because whenever they think of you, it's nothing but goodness. You know. Yeah, it might turn sour now, and they might they might think about that too, but they know that's down to their own shortcomings and their own faults, right? There's nothing that they can think of that they can blame you for, really. You know, so don't believe this. What when they try and shift the blame on you or things of that nature? That's a malicious attempt to make you self sabotage, to make you put yourself down, right? Please don't put yourself down. When they think of you, they know you're a good person. They know you're different from many people they encounter. They know you're totally different from these new supplies that they encounter. Right? They know you're a good person. And your goodness will haunt them. Right? Because your goodness used to provide a potent source of supply to them. A very potent source of supply to them. Because you was loving. You was kind. You was empathetic. You were generous. You were there for them. This will haunt the narcissist that was involved in your life. This will haunt them, right? Because this was a real potent supply source to them. You know, someone being loving, kind, loyal, transparent, true, empathetic is a potent supply source that they don't easily get over. You know, they won't easily get over your loss. You know, and they'll they'll be haunted by your absence. They'll fill a void in their lives. You know, there was something that you provided for them. You kept them afloat. When they were in your company, you kept them ticking over. You kept them afloat. You know, honestly, you provided a lot more into the life of the narcissist that you than, than you can even comprehend. Right? They know what you did. You know? So please don't take none of these things while they told you that the relationship ended or things you've done wrong, you can't take them seriously, you know, you honestly can't take that to your heart, a lot of what they're trying to do is make you self-sabotage, make you feel at fault for the relationship ending, you know, honestly, you haven't done anything wrong, you know, remember, when you wake up to a narcissist involved in your life, you have to view things totally different, you know, everything's a motive with them, everything's an agenda with them, right, so you can't take their words towards you as gospel. You literally can't take their words towards you as truth or it's trying to benefit you or trying to make you see something in a certain way that's going to be a benefit of you, benefit to you or help you become a better person. It's an agenda. It's a motive. It's trying to make you self-sabotage. So you need to understand that this narcissist will be haunted by your, your, your goodness throughout the course of their lives. You know, and the best thing that you can do is back away because this really enforces it. When you back away and let a narcissist get on with it, this enforces the fact that they will miss your goodness. They'll feel an absence from your, <coughs> from your goodness. So anyway, thanks for listening today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you want to donate, you don't have to, but if you'd like to support the channel, you can. Links in the description box below. For more narcissism-based content, check out our other channel links in the description box please visit the forums one of them is tips to heal and i'd love to find out what helps you on your journey please book a healing session with me if you need advice or some light shed on your situation 
The Empath Monthly Group Meeting is coming up at the end of the month. Limited space is available. There's a WhatsApp group for survivors to stay in touch. I'm also doing email consultations if you need a plan of action. The links for all I've mentioned are in the description box below. If you'd like to know more about the narcissist knew they were hurting you but still kept going, sick. Click this video here. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.